Hello everyone, this is Frenner Slycon, and that's Shadow. Let's get into another game of Surviving Mars. We look to have unemployment, and we have our food all set up from last game. And uh, it looks like we were doing our rare metals ex extractor. Let's also, just want to check that this, how is this dome doing? could use some more plane and I think I could use some more nurseries so let's get those down nice we are finishing again the last event in our little mini story chain treasure hunt the treasure the expedition has landed on the mysterious coordinates even before the dust has settled the visual telemetry shows a distinct cubicle shape not far from the landing zone it appear it becomes apparent that the cube is made of martian concrete not unlike the one you've been using for so long there are no doors or any protrusions but after circling around the structure the expedition discovers a distinct red circular shape that suspiciously looks like a big red button. Well, I guess we're pushing the button. Ooh. The ground trem trembles as the walls of the building sinks down to reveal a large metal cylinder wrapped with colorful paper and red ribbons. When opened, it reveals its precious content, food. And not just any kind of food, but delicious products that which cannot be found on Mars otherwise. Well, for well preserved in polymer foam. The colony will have quite a feast to be sure. The expedition will return with a hundred food and all colonists gain 20 morale. Well, we'll have to break out the whiskey to celebrate. That's uh exactly what we could use. And I think it's counting that already. Or did we already get the food? Hmm. Well, that helps solve our food problem. And we, because we are now positive, we should be. Looks like our polymers factory is not getting the fuel it needs. Sector scanned. Milestone achieved. Nice. We've actually finally gotten that one. And that's going towards our mole hole project. We're now halfway there. We're almost well, we have one of the tunnels done, but we should in this episode complete our kind of tunnel connection between the two little col like Martian city colonies we have going. That way they'll be able to support each other through disasters and if anyone decides to bully us. <laughs> How are we looking here? We'll turn amplification on for those rare metals. And we probably actually should get a storage for them. Nice. We can get you landed. And we'll remove this um, landing pad. And we'll see if we can't get any of the uh, rare metals moved over here. I'm just going to get rid of some of these now extra deposits. We'll probably want to relocate them. There we go. We're not going to be using the kind of southern space, so that's actually kind of a nice place to put some of them ah uh, we do need polymers though well shucks um you could always put the polymers by the polymers factory and we can get our transport working can we do we have anything that needs the transport let's check quickly the we have more drones i think this so oh, we have people too well let's get those resources and you can go off and do your job. 
I do really like the automation automation of those RCs vehicles. Meteor incoming. Ooh. Well, <laughs> hopefully didn't hit anything. How okay? How are we looking here? Uh, wow, our population is still growing very quickly. We need to speed things up. Oh, we almost are out of concrete in that extractor. The one over on the left there. Funding received. Nice. Alright, we are going to get I think a few more drones. So let's load up with a handful of more drones. Yeah, and then more machine parts. Speed things up. Sector scanned. Uh, yep. Concrete extractor is no more. Move the power. I think so those solar panels are within range of the other um over here the um of this drone hub actually we'll leave you here so you can actually pick up all the resources so we'll kind of attach them to our network I'll give another target for Metatron to go after but we will put down a power switch. Nice. So we have the tunnels done. We can now connect them with pipes. And some cables. And our trans map connection is going to be complete. We need some resources down here. And if we put a water extractor, we will need uh, a whole bunch of different kinds. So we'll put um, a universal, but turn off most things, and we'll crank it up to like, let's to say like 10. It needs enough that it can handle all the maintenance during a dust storm. Especially if we connect it to this underground water, which I kind of want to do, but I think I'll wait a little bit on that. And now we should have a single power grid. Check. Yep, we have one power grid. That's excellent. And now they should be able to support each other and we can monitor it more closely. Ooh, need to open up an additional job for you guys, huh? I can't keep up the jobs for you. Okay. That's fine. We could actually consider... I think once this job kind of shift fills up, we'll put... Mm, maybe an electronics factory down. Let's 
speed things up. Oh man, we are out of concrete down here too. We are going to need to uh, eventually connect another one up. Yep, why not? Let's do it now. Let's get that concrete. Set up. Man, we need uh, some more residents here too. Let's uh, get some more housing. We are growing very fast between the three domes. Oh, okay. We're getting our first contact with Metatron. Uh, we'll have to see how they liked our, you know, offering of whiskey to them. I need to talk to you, Commander. I think that something strange is going on with me. It's the monolith. I feel its alien thoughts inside of my head. It speaks to me. I just don't understand why, but... It has chosen me to be its speaker. At first, I thought I was going crazy, but the medics tell me that there's nothing wrong with me. Since the monolith appeared above us, I've been dreaming dreams that aren't mine. I see things I cannot understand, and I feel that some strange truth is forming inside my mind, and it urges me to tell it to the world. I'm afraid, but also excited, because I feel that this will be important. It sounds crazy, but I want to believe. Yeah, we're we're really good on food now. We can uh pick up on our distilleries now that we've gotten a comfortable supply of food again. Cold wave approaching. Okay. We'll speed things up and we'll make sure we just turn on the subsurface heaters ahead of time and we should be fine. We have a large supply of power. Ah, more renegades and, and uh, Andersonville. Although this is the only place we don't have a um, any uh, security, so we probably should get that down. In fact, I'll get that down right now. We'll kind of prioritize it. How many renegades do we have in this dome, I wonder? Oh man, we even have unemployed. Speed things up while it gets built. In 13 hours, I will be safe because I always forget these things. Turn on the subserver heater, or I kind of pull it a little close. They need to get repaired, and we have a rocket to land. I also want to put this on light, low priority with the uh, make sure our polymers, polymers factory gets the first shot at the uh, fuel. Oops, they got dusted. Hey, you. 
Uh, go try and rescue that. Hopefully it makes it back before the cold wave, else we might need to rescue the drone itself. Now nah, they got close enough. Anomaly analyzed. More metals. Uh, we are getting to the point where we're running out of metals on the map. That that's actually kind of useful now. Wow, are we actually we're kind of crushing the. Uh... Oh, you're already back. Land you. Let me turn things on a slower speed. Uh, we're going to need more residents, aren't we? Um, yes, we are. Man, we're up to 80 uh, colonists and Ernestin. It has the same population almost as uh, both the Neil Swindell Dome and the Paradise of Awe. This is becoming a pretty, pretty major population center. Uh, it would be better. We need to kind of get these drones shifted about right now. Here, I'm just going to transfer them all over to... This drone hub, and then I'll pull a whole bunch off. Nice. Okay, we're getting the challenge. Let's get these drones all set up. The challenge the for times Metatron. of challenge are upon us. We are chosen to represent all humans and face the trials of the monolith. If we prove worthy, we will be rewarded. But if we fail, uh oh. Metatron, as the monolith desires to be called was created to visit and test intelligent species all over the galaxy. It will put us through trials and make us realize whether we are worthy to take our place among the star-fearing species. The stars are cold and bitter, and many unknown opportunities and dangers await us there. We must prove that we can understand, that we can survive and thrive in any environment and situation. Metatron doesn't care if we want to be tested, as simply come to announce the beginning of the trials, so we must, so we can prepare. I'm afraid, Commander, but I'll give you everything to make it through. Goal. You'll be put through a series of challenges. Metatron will create waves of anomalies which will test your ingenuity and resolve, adapt, and thrive, and survive. Effect. Offerings are anomalies with a limited duration. When analyzed, they reward you for your efforts. We have faced harder challenges. Haven't we proven worthy enough? And I think with that will call it the end of this episode we are starting the trials of metatron and so far we've overcome every challenge mars can offer we can handle metatron so without further ado this is furnace like and shadow sleeping in her bed again signing off